perception. This week in maths, we are going to be learning about sorting. Sorting. We're going to be sorting by working out which objects are different and which ones are the same and putting them into groups. So, I'm going to use my Lego to demonstrate and then I'd like you to have a go at home using your toys. So, here we have some Lego. I've taken some out so that I can demonstrate and I'll move these to the side. So I'm going to be looking to see which ones are the same. So first of all, I'm going to do it by colour. So I'm going to get the red ones and put them over here. And I'm going to get the yellow ones and put them over here. So red, red, red. And these ones are yellow. There we go. I now have two different groups. These ones are red and these ones are yellow. It doesn't matter what they look like, what shape they are. These are red and these are yellow. That is one of their properties. Properties. Now, I'll put them together and I will sort them a different way. This time, their property is going to be their shape or size. So, I'm going to put all the big ones over here. This one is a big one. And I'm going to put all the little ones over here doesn't matter what colour they are, I'm just going to sort them like this. So, big ones, and big one, and big one, and then all my little, oh dear, this one doesn't fit in either group, does it? So, I'm going to create another group. This one can go with it as well, because this one has a curved edge. Even that is different. So there, I have four different groups. I've got my small blocks, got my big blocks, I've got my small curve, and I've got my big curve. So that's what I'd like you to try at home. I would like you to try sorting. Sorting your toys into different groups depending on their properties. Once you're done, why don't you put it on tapestry so your teachers can have a look as well. Look forward to seeing it.